Hi friends, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I know I have a busy week ahead, so I wanted to go ahead and film a couple of videos today. So this will be the second video that I'm filming today. And of course I hope to space them out throughout this week. Um, this video is going to be about um, a library book sale that I went to, so it's a little bit of a haul, and yeah, so let's get started. The, um, the first thing that I had in mind when I went to this library sale, I had never been to the library sale here recently, but I saw a lot of you guys talking about it, and I figured I need to check out my local library sales. So this past weekend, my fiance, my fiance and I went to the book sale and I was pretty much surprised at like I'd never been to the library where they hold it because they hold it at the central library and the central library is like a little bit further than of course my local branch and I usually go to my local branch and you know um, borrow all my books from there and they also have like this little shelf that has like maybe 10 books on it or sometimes no books on it really um it just depends I guess but they have some books for sale and I think I bought like one maybe two books off of there ever like the whole time I've lived here and I've lived here for it'll be five years in November so there really was never anything good but I figured I would check out the library sale at the main branch they have it once a month which I'm super excited to find out about but it's also kind of dangerous because yeah but anyway, I went to the library sale and the first thought that I had in mind was I needed to find some of the Patricia Cornwell K. Scarpetta series books that I did not have. As I talk about probably in every single one of my videos, I love Patricia Cornwell. She was like one of the first authors that I started reading besides like middle grade books like Sweet Valley High, Baby Sears Club, things like that. Um, but this one... This one author really kind of got me into reading adult novels and crime, fic you know, fiction crime, like uh, mystery type books. And I love her to death and I haven't really read her in a really long time. And that's just because there's a million other books to read, but I know she'll always be there. And plus my collection is getting nice and pretty. And I kind of have it at the bottom shelf here of my bookshelf, which you can't really see. But, um... I had several books that I either had in paperback, which, uh, see these are the paperbacks, and as you can see, these are well-loved paperbacks. So I had The Book of the Dead, The Scarpetta Factor, and Scarpetta. And, <clears throat> and eventually, you know, my plan was to make sure I had them all in hardback. Um, and even though it's kind of annoying because some of the hardbacks are huge, and then some of them are skinny and short, like, really... So yes, I agree with you, Danny. It is super annoying when they don't match. But anyway, there's that. So I was hoping to find some replacements for those, or I was hoping to find some of the ones that I do not have. And yes, I could probably just go on the internet, eBay or Amazon or somewhere like that and purchase them, but that's kind of not the point for me. It's kind of been this quest to go to thrift stores like Goodwill or things like that and book sales or flea mark you know flea markets or garage sales and find these books that I've needed and I've actually since I started on my quest I've almost completed the whole series and I'll share what I got and then I'll let you know about that so the first book that I got of course like I said I had it in paperback so I found it in hardback so I bought it it was only two dollars so their hardbacks are two dollars and their paperbacks are a dollar just throwing that out there so replaced that one so yay bye bye paperback um then let's see i got i replaced the scarpetta factor which one is that yeah the scarpetta factor had it in the paperback found it in her look at this book this is like let me tell you how many pages it is because I don't think you realize the scale of the book. 492 pages. Yeah, it's a big one. Then I was so happy when I found um, the next book. Sorry. The next one, Scarpetta, because that meant that I was finally all done with my paperbacks. Again, this is a huge, huge, huge one. 
500 pages on this one. So these three books alone had me like, because, <sighs> okay, I have to admit, I was totally unprepared for the book sale. I figured when you go to a sale, they would like have bags, but they didn't. And I have like a million bags here that I could have brought. You know, those little tote bags that when you go to the library, you like put your books in. Yeah, I have like a million of those, but I figured it was a sale and they would have like bags like when you normally go to a store or sale and they put stuff in a bag. Yeah, but they didn't. So next time I will know to bring a bag or two or three or just bring some bags. But these I was super happy to find because it replaced all of my, and yes, it still has the little library stickers at the bottom. But I was super happy because this replaced all of the paperbacks that I had of her so far. Um, another one I had to replace, I had Blowfly. So I have Blowfly and hard copy and paperback too. Um, I'm probably going to just donate these to the book sale and that way, you know, someone else can buy them. Um, that, let's see, Book of the Dead was the 15th book. Um, 16th book was Scarpetta, and 17th book was The Scarpetta Factory. How do I know that? Because I wrote <laughs> on the paperbacks, yeah. So then I had a list of books that I needed from her, and I just keep, like, this little note thing in my wallet, and then I was able to pull it out and be like, yes, I need that book, yes, I need that book, etc. And I found one more that I needed on my list, and that was Post Mortuary by Patricia Cornwell. I was super happy to find that. So any books of hers that I can knock off my list is awesome. And that's not all the books I got, but I just wanted to go ahead, since that's the last of the Patricia Cornwell books that I got, I wanted to share that I only need a total of five more of Patricia Cornwell books in the Scarpetta series. Um, she does have other series that she's kind of written or other standalone books that she's written, but these are the ones in the Scarpetta series, the ones that I really love. And I only need the first four books, Postmortem, Body of Evidence, All That Remains, and Cruel and Unusual. And of course, it's sad, but I probably had those books at some point. And then the last book is like in the middle of the series of the, all the other ones that I own, and that's Predator, and that came out in 2005. So here's my little list. So I just need these four, and then this one, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have 16 of her books, and they're all at the bottom of my bookshelf, and they just look so gorgeous. Even though they're different sizes, I still love them, and yeah. Um... Now, to continue on with my library book sale haul, I picked up four more books. Um, the next one, book that I picked up was Flash Burnout, and this is about a boy named Blake, and he's taking a photography class, and during one of his assignments, or he goes on a shoot, and he snaps a picture of this woman on the street, and... I'm sorry. Maybe I should say that Blake is, he has a girl that is a friend, and then he has a girlfriend. And then, um, so he snaps this picture of this woman on the street, and it turns out that it is his friend's mother. And I guess she was like, um... Like, she's homeless. Like, I don't know if she was, like, addicted to drugs or something like that. Um... I kind of don't remember everything. I mean, I basically saw the book. The cover looked really interesting. I read the little inside. I pulled it up on Goodreads and read like a little synopsis. And it seemed like a good book. So I love photography. I love reading. It combines both. Woohoo! So I bought that. And it was $2. And then the next book that I saw, I've seen a lot of YouTubers haul this book. Um, so I really didn't know what it was about, but I've never heard anything really bad about it. Like, no one's ever said, like, oh my goodness, this book sucks. Um, and that, and it says New York Times bestselling author. Oh, I should have probably told you who the author was of this one. L.K. Madigan for this one, sorry. Um, this is by John Connolly, and that is The Gates, and I thought it was kind of perfect that I found this, like, going into October, because it's about a boy, I don't remember his name, whoops, 
Samuel Johnson. Um, him and his dog go trick-or-treating a few days early, and he sees, like, craziness happening at 666 Crawley Street, I think. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm just trying to because, yeah, of course I don't remember. Yeah, 666 Crawley Road. Um, and basically, he notices the gates of hell, and it's like a fight against evil and I really don't know that much about it other than that I'm, I could be totally giving you a wrong synopsis but yeah so I picked this up it's a hardback as well so it was two dollars then um, as some of you may or may not know I volunteer at the Little Theater of Virginia Beach and I've been building sets um, working on props, ushering, doing receptions, like where they have par cast parties and stuff like that. And then over the summer, I actually worked backstage as a stagehand, musical Follies, and I super enjoyed that. So I was debating like the whole summer whether or not I would actually do it. But this semester, I actually enrolled in an acting class, and I am enjoying it so far. I really enjoy it, and I saw this book, and I love it, so yeah. And that's Romeo and Juliet, William Shakespeare. The cover, I think, is, like, really simple and pretty, and not that it has anything to do with the book, but um, he also has, I guess, like, in this kind of, in this kind of um, cover, I was just looking on the inside, I guess he has Withering Heights and Pride and Prejudice. See? So, anyway, um, so in how it's broken up is in the beginning, it's Juliet's story, a retelling of William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet by Jacqueline Ritten. And then the second half of the book is obviously the play written by William Shakespeare. So if you read in the beginning, it's more like storybook form. It's just regular, you know, regular book. And then as you get to the back, it's actually... The play so I'm excited about that oh and I just noticed this too um, so I think this is kind of funny so it says extras and it has like little questions and of course like I said this is a library sale so it was like used but um so there's like a quiz and people actually answered the questions so I'll have to check that and see if they got them right Oh, what would you do in the name of love? And then they gave points. And then, oh, if you got, oh, it's one of those. Like, if you got 6 out of 9 points, 10 out of 13, or 14 out of 18. So, I think that's kind of funny. And then, let's see what else it's got. Test yourself. How much do you know about the star-crossed lovers? Okay, that's what I thought the first quiz was. And then 10 Things You Didn't Know About William Shakespeare. So let's read one of those. Shakespeare was born in 1564. Shakespeare was the third child of eight in his family. His father was a middle-class citizen who served in town government. But after a steadily successful career, he ran up large debts and was removed from office. Hmm. I did not know that. Well, I knew the born and stuff like that, but not about his father. And then, what if Romeo and Juliet lived now and had Facebook? <laughs> okay. It's like a little bio. Um, anyway, so yeah. I'm more excited about it for the play portion of the book, but um, I don't even have any plans to read this anytime soon, to be honest. Um, it's just something I can pick up now and then again, you know, now and then and read. So yeah, so I got that. And then the last book that I got from the library book haul um, is a book that I really enjoyed um, growing up as a child. My English teacher used to read us this book. Like, she'd read like a chapter or two every class, and I loved that. That was like one of my favorite things about English classes. And that book is The Indian in the Cupboard by Lynn Reed Banks. And I haven't obviously read this in super long or, you know, listened to it in a super long time. But I just think it's such a classic and it was only a dollar and why not 
right? So let's see if I can pile the books. I don't even remember how much I spent. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. So I spent fourteen dollars at the bookstore and I or the library book sale and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight books, and like I said, these books are kind of heavy. They are because, of course, I bought those huge Patricia Cornwell books. But, uh, as you can see, they barely fit in the window. But those are the books that I got. So, have you gone or checked out if your library does book sales? Um, that's something I'm interested about. I really never thought about that. I remember when I was growing up, my mom would take us. It was just like a once a year thing. Like once a year growing up where I lived, um, they had the library or my branch of the library. I don't even know like if it was like the general library or if it was just like my branch of my library. But nonetheless, um, once a year, they would have like a library book sale and they had it out on their lawn and it was like the perfect time of year. Like it was about this time of year, you know, and it was just so perfect because my mom would be like, okay, pick out, you know, some books or whatever. And then she'd let us know, like, cause I mean, I would pick out like 20 books, I'm sure. And then she'd like narrow it down. But that was always like so much fun because I mean, as you can see, like, of course, this one's got a little, you know, edging issues, but I mean, uh, it's in good condition. If I read this book, it'd probably be in worse condition. I mean, this is in super great condition. And obviously all these are in their plastic sleeve with the little Dewey Decimal System stickers and all of that still. So, I mean, all these books are in really great condition and some of them I wouldn't have probably bought in otherwise. I mean, except for the Patricia Cornwell. And, like, some of those are in way worse condition. I mean, look at my paperbacks. I mean, maybe you can't tell on that one. Yeah, this one you can tell. Look. It's, like, horror bad. And, the, yeah, it's just super bad. So, I mean, I was really excited with the quality of books that they had there. Um, I didn't find, it was kind of big and I went with my fiance and I can only keep him entertained so long before he starts just like totally annoying me. So next time that I go next month, I plan to either go by myself or take one of my sorority sisters with me and see like if they want to buy some books or if they just want to go with me. And I'm kind of determined to find those with Patricia Cornwell. They were still putting out books when I got there, which I was like really surprised because I think it started, like, they let the friends of the library go first, and then I'm not a friend of the library because I'm not paying a $10 fee every, I think it's every year. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not being a friend of the library. Sorry. Even though I do love the library and I am a friend in my heart, I'm not going to be a friend. But, um, so the regular, like, for the general public, it opened up at, like, 1030, and then I think it went to, like, 1 or something like that, and we were probably there till 11, from 1030 to 11, yeah. Or something like that and they were still putting out books so I figured like wow they're still putting out books they didn't have those out for the friends of the library okay maybe it's better to come later um, or maybe they were just reorganizing I have no idea the point is is I thought it was an awesome opportunity to find some Patricia Cornwell books that I needed slash wanted to replace the paperbacks and just to pick up some books that I wasn't going to go to Amazon, Book Outlet, Barnes & Noble or whatever to pick up. And yeah, so I was super excited with this haul and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!